banking on me on the bank. I smack her, she let her get spanked. Spank. I tackle her, bitch, let her wrestle. Young bachelor, we love play. So come out when I move the drapes. Know my move when I grab your waist. Know you fucking a man that's made. Hey, keep it low key, she ain't out to fame. No, she ain't out to fame. You ain't like that, oh, I used to be fucking. You don't have nothing to say. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And of course, as y'all can tell by the title, we are doing a move bangs today. I'm just trying the local Chinese uh, restaurant. I obviously have eaten Chinese food before. I just have not tried this particular restaurant. And I heard great things. So I just wanted to give it a try. Plus they always leaving these, uh, you know, the little menus on my door. So I said, let me give it a try. Um, now this is something I've never had before, which is the egg drop soup. It always looked really yummy to me when I was a kid. Like anytime I saw someone eating it, they were tearing it up. So I'm like, I don't know. I just I wanted to try. My mom said my aunt really loves it, like in her whole family. So, well, her whole household, because we're all family, but you know what I mean. Um, so, I'm going to try that. Hopefully, I like it, y'all. Ooh, I hope I like it. I really don't know. And I got, oh, I was wondering if it came with chips, so that's great. Came okay, with chips, and then I got an egg roll, shrimp egg roll, because they didn't have chicken, unfortunately. Jeez, look at our food is busting out the plate. Y'all see that? Busting out the plate. Mommy, I got braised wings. And I, I figured they weren't going to be what I thought they were going to be. <laughs> what? I'm going to still try them. I'm going to still try them. But, I mean, honestly, y'all, I'm from Atlanta, so, and I told y'all that, obviously, a million times before, but it's just, sometimes I feel like it has to be mentioned because... It's just different from anywhere else. I mean, just like everywhere is. But some places, you kind of... I mean, it's similarities. I don't feel like it's anywhere like Atlanta. For real, for real. And like some of the stuff that goes on here is nowhere like it. That is replicating those same things. So like China Cafeteria on MLK. Hands down. Like, that's my go-to for Chinese food. And I know that sounds fucked up to some people. I'm sure it does. But I don't care. If I'ma eat Chinese food, I'ma eat hood Chinese food. No, I don't want cats and dogs, okay? I'm not even getting that. I'm getting wings. So I'm not even getting no little chopped up ass pieces of meat from no Chinese place. I don't care where it's at or you know where it's from. Um so I always get the braised wings. And unfortunately, I've literally only been able to find good braised wings at China Cafeteria. I found it at different locations. Obviously, it's more than one China cafeteria out there, but my favorite one growing up was the one on MLK. Um, but I'll eat at any time, again, because I know it's going to hit every time. See, like this, now I'm disappointed because I just, just looking at it, I can tell by the color. With some stuff, you know how to cook, or you've been eating some for a long time, like even with certain drinks, like if you go to Starbucks and the color, of your iced coffee is not light enough or it's not dark enough, you be like, mm -mm, it's not gonna taste good. You already know, like, <laughs> and I'm looking at that and I'm just like, mm, I don't think that's gonna be it. Um, I'm about to see what this, uh, what is it? Jesus, fortune cookie, what it's talking about. You are active, full of ideas and have a generous nature. I sure do, absolutely. And I actually just got done working out while I was talking about I'm active. That's why I got this headband on, y'all. It's like a little sweatband I ordered off uh, Amazon. And then I um, have on a wrap paper. You know, y'all can see it underneath. That's the white part. I have that one there, too. That's for extra security to make sure my edges. Because I hate having to keep doing my baby hair. Like, Every day. I do it every two days. I'll do it every three, but I'm not doing what? it every day. I'm doing it. You want a piece? No, I want a piece. Okay, yeah. go back to your room. Yeah. 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 All right, so I think I'm about to try the egg drop soup. I already know the egg roll is going to be good, so I don't really need to worry about that. But this egg drop soup, I don't 
don't know. I'm looking at my TV because I got this evil ass looking, or this evil, I don't even know the best way to put it. This man, he's looking real evil on my screen. It smells just like eggs right now. As soon as you pop the lid open, eggs hit you in the face. So what do I do? I just... It just tastes like eggs. <laughs> so people who eat this, they probably be going to the bathroom a lot or um, I'm not sitting behind them behind um, after they eat this shit. Cause I'm telling y'all, this is definitely giving um, bathroom. I just don't know how to eat it. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's the texture, and I don't like it. It's like slimy. It's gross. <sighs> well, you know, it's you know, you gotta try things once at least. I say, and that was my once for that. I'm not trying that shit again. I know I don't like it. Now I know I do not like it. Heck no. So we're going to seal that back up. I want to keep the container because I love these containers, but this lid is all melted down and stuff. I honestly just need to order me a whole bunch of them. But <clears throat> most times I'll just keep the ones I get with my to-go orders because I order to-go pretty, pretty often or pretty frequent. Let's see. See, even the rice is off like, if I order shrimp fried rice, I do not want yellow rice with vegetables in it. I don't want that. I want shrimp fried rice, okay? Meaning white rice, some terry, like do the damn job, do the work. What the hell is, I hate this. And I done paid 20, 26 bucks for this food. Now I'm at. Disgusting. No. I'm trying. Mm -mm. I think they need the rice white. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's like barbecue chicken. I just don't like it. I think I've already kind of screwed myself mentally. <laughs> With the egg drop soup, I probably shouldn't have even. I should have did that last or something. I don't even know. Thank God I'm not like starving or anything. Cause then I probably would have been mad, and I probably would have just ate it and then been disgusted later. So let's just eat the egg roll. You, know, you can't mess that up. I mean, you can, but let's hope they didn't. Sometimes it'd be too greasy and I can smell the grease off of it, which I just got a whiff. <sighs> let's hope it's not too bad. I swear I don't complain, like, or anything like that, in the, like, when I'm in a restaurant. I'm not one of those people that's like, damn, bitch, like, why do we even come here? <laughs> but I also don't play no games. If I'm coming here and I'm paying food for a service, or I mean, not paying food, Lord Jesus. If I'm coming somewhere and I'm paying for a service, it doesn't matter whether it's food, um, you know, I'm coming here for drinks, I'm coming here to get my nails done, doesn't matter if I'm paying for it, oh, best believe you're gonna get my feedback, the whole step of the way. And if it's something going on that I don't like, you're gonna get my feedback every step of the way, period. But with this place, I just know I'm not going back now. <laughs> and that sucks, but Okay, it's all the right. A little salty. Eat you in the back of your throat, you know? I'm not a salty girl. I'm a sweets girl. I feel like most people I meet, <coughs> you either one or the other. <clears throat> so you either really like sweets, and you'll probably prefer something sweet over something salty, or you really like salty foods, and you add a lot of sodium to your diet and you prefer that over something sweet. 
Mm -mm. Damn, piss me off. You're supposed to put love in your food. I don't know what this is. And I'm just eating all bunch of dough. I'm just getting to the vegetables and the shrimp is. Y'all see the end of the shrimp right there? And the shrimp. Why was half of it bread? I didn't want the rest. You want some juice? Ah. Okay, let me pass it to you. Sit right here, please. Okay. Now I need some first child. in this house y'all this boy come over here i'm just trying to drink and eat he's like oh we drinking let me get some <laughs> he wouldn't even think about it before i started drinking some now he's like oh let me get some let me get a little swig my throat a little dry <laughs> best kids for you i swear and they always be your own kids they do the worst they will come and snatch the shit right out of your mouth like my son i could be like and one of those thirsts was like, you feel like uh, you about to die of thirst, you know, like I'm severely dehydrated <laughs> type of moments where I really need something to drink. And I will grab my cup. I start drinking. I'm going hard. Like <laughs> I haven't took one deep breath since I started drinking. And this boy will snatch it out of my mouth. Like, oh my God, I almost choked one time he did that to me, y'all. It was like, wow, you disrespectful. You don't even care. <laughs> Care. Okay, let's see what this one says. Ooh, do not let others try to stop you from doing what is right. I know that's right, Bookie. Stick with y'all, oh, my honey. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Well, don't let nobody steal you from something that really means a lot to you. That's what I mean. Cause you need to listen to people, but. Have that discernment as well on what and who to listen to. Yeah, I pray for it every day. That's what I do. Every day. And you have to learn to trust yourself. You cannot trust others if you don't trust yourself. If you don't believe you're worthy of a certain love or a certain lifestyle or certain luxuries, then you're not. And you won't. And I know it's easier said than done. Because when you're in the thick of it, can't nobody tell you nothing, you know? Especially if the feelings is like real extreme and, and you know, you're real anxious about it. Or you're real down about it, <clears throat> for sure. It can be hard to think positive about it, but. Y'all just get through it. And then y'all can tell. It can be real insensitive sometimes just being in life, you know, going through life and being an adult. That's why I always tell my friends when they be like, oh, girl, how you been? Girl, life been life in. <laughs> I don't got nothing else for you, like. Life been life in. Okay? You ain't doing nothing else but doing that. Because it's going to come with ups and downs. Sometimes I'm living my best life. Things are great. Things are up, 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 up. Okay, they're growing. I mean, yeses is left and right. All kind of great things are happening. Cup is overflowing, right? And then some moments it's like, dang, like, I don't know what's going on. You know, I could really use a blessing right now. But all of that shit, like, I mean, I just like, it all comes and goes. Like, take the good with the bad. God is with you. That's where it's like your faith has to be stronger than what you, you know, what's right in front of you. You go by faith, not by sight. That's what I always used to say. And I still say it, you know, uh, to people <laughs> when it's time. But I used to say it like a lot back in the day. Like my friends and stuff. You know? Because we was young then. And we just felt like times was just so hard for us. So I used to always be like, girl, no, mm -mm, move by faith, not by sight, baby. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was going to 
goodness, like I was some 40 year old woman then live through certain experiences and could tell somebody else. Child, I was a child myself and I couldn't tell nobody nothing. But I feel like I've always had like a very strong, you know what I'm saying, personality and just a very strong um, mindset. And when I say strong personality, I know some people can be take that real negatively. Um, but I don't mean it like in a controlling um like mad dominant way i do think i am controlling in some ways for sure i think that's a part of being self-aware but i'm not saying like i'm just 100 percent controlling dominant type of personality sorry y'all my son he came in here and asked me for something so i had to help him out and now i'm back um but yes y'all like my personality it is what it is when it comes to me i'm an aquarius so if you know you know you know <laughs> so yes uh definitely one of the best zodiac signs out there period um but yes we are all very like different but the same at the same time it's crazy because i've met several aquarius male and well not many males but definitely females and we don't none of us are really the same to me like i don't necessarily click with all aquariuses or anything some of us are, are just very different. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, and some of us are a vibe for sure. But I think that's every zodiac sign. I wouldn't take, like, everything exact and literal because each person is built with their own chromosomes and DNA. So, clearly, we cannot all be the same, even if we have the same zodiacs. So, yeah and again i think we can have some characteristic traits that are the same or similar in some ways like maybe how we handle certain things is you know similar but that doesn't mean that it's exact to the t you know i don't know y'all get what i'm saying so yes um i'm an aquarius my birthday is actually in a month and i'm still trying to figure out what i'm gonna do for my birthday y'all um it's i don't even know like it's one of those things where it's like I have what I want to do in my head, but at the same time, I'm aware that I'm going to be working then. I'm going to have my son. I mean, which obviously I can make arrangements. It's just, I don't know what I want to do because I want to save my money, but I also want to go out of town. And I don't want to go out of town like on no girl trip. No, dumb girl trips don't do them. I'm good on them. Um, I have attempted to do a few, but have done none. So that tells you right there why I don't want to do them. It's not that I've had like a bad experience on any of them. Like I went out of town with some girls and it was really shitty. No, I haven't done that. I'm thankful I haven't done that. Um, I have been out of town with a girl and it did not go well. Um, but that didn't deter me from like going with other girls, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a girl's girl, but I'm a girl's girl for girls who are like for me, if that makes sense. Like I want my own best friend who is like just for me. Like I, I love, you know, having that, the girlfriends, like I love that. And Again, I would just love to have my own best friend. I want to keep doing nowadays, you know, just in case she's watching this video. Like, girl, hey, what's up, sis? Like, <laughs> I'm looking for a just because I have a best friend. Don't get me wrong, already, but we've been best friends for like since middle school and stuff like that. We just don't live in the same space, and we just uh, you know it's just hard for us to see each other and hang out and stuff. Like, I mean, someone who I can see like often like we plan to see each other every fucking sunday like that's our girls time that's our you know t a space away from everybody else and just us to hang out chill vibe watch movies go get drinks go get food like whatever i want that for myself um you know and i'm looking for a friend that's a female as well that is looking for the same thing like i don't think there's anything wrong with like one of your soulmate in friendship or soulmates because you can have more than one in friendship I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So definitely, like, um, I want that for myself. And again, I'm a girl's girl. So, like, I love being around, like, girls who are just open, free, and fun, and, like, nice, and calm, cool, collected. Like, I have a natural, I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm sure y'all can. When I Honestly, all I got to do is 
and there you go. <laughs> if I'm not smiling, you can't really tell if I'm nice or not. And I think that can be intimidating for a lot of people, men and women. So, or you don't even have to be intimidating because there's another one of those words where people kind of take that as what she's trying to say. I don't think I'm intimidated. Whatever you want to call it, love. <laughs> um, intimidated. Um, hell, intrigued. Because I think for some people, it's like, ooh, you know, she look a little, a little mean. I wonder why that is. I wonder if she's really mean. I wonder who she is. Like, you got to start asking all these questions in your head. Now you intrigued by who I am because you can't really tell. See, a smile kind of can tell you a little bit, a little bit about a person. And my face is not necessarily that I'm mugging you. And it's not necessarily that I'm smiling at you. Again, giving away what my mood is. You cannot tell when I'm just being me. So a lot of people, honestly, they just don't know. You know, they don't really know. But I'm definitely like all for like positive female energy. But I mean like real real positive female energy. So I think I think that's that's where it kind of gets a little bit confused with me. Um and like why some girls maybe have not gotten that part from me because y'all are not, you know, my cup of tea for real. And I am entitled to that. Like <laughs> that's okay. I don't need to be calling you. I don't need to be texting you. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to go out. I don't want to come to your events. Don't invite me because I'm not coming anyways. Like and I definitely have been on the other side where it's like I've had some people who I thought was my friends and they damn sure showed me that they was not, you know, they was more so associates or people I could hang out with and have fun, which all of us have to go through that and learn that, you know, where to kind of place people in your life. But I definitely had to kind of learn like, oh, okay, you know, um, and, you know, learn who I am at the same time. Like, you're that girl, you know. You don't have to hang out with these people. Like, it's a privilege for your time to be spent. So, because some people sometimes, you know, can try to, I don't know, with girls, it's like this nice, nasty thing. Like, they really want to be a friend, but they kind of envious at the same time. So, they don't really know how to move with you. You know, and it don't necessarily has to be that. It could be anything of why they're moving weird. But I think when it comes to females, especially in the black community, I don't know what any other community is like because I'm black. But what I will say is... In this community, baby, it is hard to have friends. It is. It's hard to be a girl's girl because everybody's not. And a lot of these girls are spiteful and, again, envious. They be jealous as hell. They really want to be you. You know, they want to be your friend so bad because they really want to be you. And they want to live in your skin. They want to live the type of life you're living. All kind of stuff. They, you know, hate how, how you love. You know, they jealous of how you love. They jealous of how kind you are. They jealous of, you know, the type of heart you got, how pretty you are, all kind of things. So you really have to kind of like shield yourself at the same time while trying to be, you know, who you are. Because I, again, I've had people I thought was my friends and, oh yeah, you're inviting everybody else in our friend group places or two things, or, you know, you are kind of, um, you respond to others a different way than you respond to me. And I just picked up on that type of stuff. Like, oh, and again, it's not an issue. I don't, please don't invite me because I'm not coming. <laughs> but to me, I love to know like where I stand in your life. Like, I, please, God, I pray every night. I pray every day, every night, show me people's true hearts and their true intentions so I can know how to move. And I can know where to place them in my life. Because sometimes you really don't know and especially when you're nice or you're kind or you got a good heart you want to believe like people are you know maybe better than what they're showing you or you know kinder than what they're showing you and the truth is they're not they are who the hell they're showing you <laughs> that they are so you might want to believe them before more heartbreak comes your way because usually it's you know painful to end a friendship just as painful as it is in a relationship maybe not you know as painful but it's still painful and it just really depends on how close y'all were that's the real truth because I've seen some people friendships in and it's like a breakup for real. Like people is crying, people is hurt. Now it's like people got to take a side. It's like, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, especially when y'all are really close. So, yeah, I think that um, people definitely show you who they are. And, you, you know, you want them to show you that you want to know where you stand with people for real whether you've you know done things to make each other angry or not because i've had some friends that you know were more willing to cut off certain people than they were others you know what i'm saying 
which clearly shows you which friends they valued over your others because you were more willing to cut this person off. And I thought y'all was close as hell. But you cut them off without thinking twice. But this one, you must really want to be her friend because she don't even talk to you for real. <laughs> and you kind of running behind her. But okay, I just seen it all. And that's just how I feel. Like I'm, I'm an observing or observant because I was using my word. I am an observant person. Like, I look back and I pay attention to, like, everything. A lot A lot of times people probably don't think I am because I'm still cool as hell. I am. I'm going to be cool as hell regardless. I can people doing some weird-ass, like, foul-ass shit. As long as it's not about, like, you're doing some foul-ass shit to me. But if, if you're doing some weird-ass shit to me, I'm, that's still not a reason for me to, like, violate you or cuss you out or, you know, get really upset about it. Uh-oh. Just clean that face. Go get the wipes. Come on, boo. Okay, guys. Sorry. I had to go get my son together. As y'all saw, he came in here. His nose was running. So I had to wipe his face and get him together. Um, but yes, I mean, I'm not, like, going to be volatile unless you're volatile to me. And even with that, like, I'm really just learning that even with some of those instances, you don't always have to give that type of energy back just because somebody's giving it to you. So, um yeah i just feel like for me it's just one of those things where i just i'm learning that it's a lot of weird people out there and i just like to keep my peace and <laughs> be happy and be able to be myself be able to love how i love because i feel like i've had some friendships where it was like i kind of had to not dumb down myself because obviously that's i mean have to do with like intelligence i ain't ever did that for nobody not a girl or a guy but I have had to, um, I guess, like, love less. I had to care less. You know what I mean? I had to kind of put that front on because this bitch acting like she don't care. I don't care either. Like, <laughs> she want to act like we not cool like that. Cool. And, you know, you could even be like that with guys because I'm sure all women, I don't care who you are. Have dealt with a man who tried to act like he didn't give a damn. And <laughs> the moment you stop caring, he blowing your phone up. Blah, 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 blah. Um, where you at? What's going on with you? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's kind of the same with those female friends too. Like, you know, you don't call or text me at all when we were friends. Or you weren't calling and texting me at all when we were friends. But now that I'm not saying that no more and I'm hanging out with these other friends is i mean i don't understand like how you hanging out with them or we don't even see each other anymore it's like all this bullshit like okay whatever and then i, I don't know i feel like i also have one of those personalities where like i'm just cool as hell so like a lot of people probably i feel like wanted have wanted to be cool with me so um that kind of leaves a lot of room for just kind of anybody to kind of come in when you have one of those personalities where like a lot of people want to be cool with you. Like, you don't, you don't have one of those personalities. I guess they kind of run people off. Like, they can already tell, like, you're not that cup of tea. I feel like for me, again, I have one of those personalities where you kind of got to figure me out. You might think I'm certain way, a certain way, and then you figure out, wow, she's really not like that. It's like how people say they thought I was a bitch. And then they get to know me, and so, oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. But I am still a bitch. <laughs> I am, and again, that's a part of my self-awareness because I know I am and I can be for sure, but I'm not going to give you that in my forefront. Like, no, that's not who I really am. It's just a part of who I am. It is a part of my personality and I am capable of doing so. But one thing that's not a part of my personality is cheating on people, okay? And like being despicable and deceitful. Those things are not a part of my character. <laughs> You, ain't, you you might hear that I was a bitch. You might hear that. You might even hear that Quay had a bad attitude. <laughs> you might hear those things. But you are not going to hear that Quay is a cheating line piece of shit. You're not going to hear those things. So, I'm okay with, with, you know, with the negative things that I guess I'll say somebody would have to say about me. Um, that doesn't bother me. Feel how you feel. And maybe it's the reason you got that part or that version of me anyways because again I'm, I'm i feel like i'm nice as hell until you cross me i'm cool as hell until you give me a reason not to be period i'm a good time i'm a vibe like let's party let's get lit 
let's have a good time but it just be those questionable ass weird ass people it's like i don't really know where we stand <laughs> are we friends or are we not you know you kind of come to some of my stuff but you you know i never hear from you <laughs> you know i send you <laughs> kind you know messages or uh, affirmations to you know speak life into you i feel like i value certain things too like so that may be another reason you know maybe that's not necessarily something they value so therefore they're not projecting that off you know in their life and again that just kind of goes back to alignment and who i align with and who i don't and kind of like the soulmate thing i was speaking to um before you have to genuinely be my soulmate at this point i don't i'm not looking for any more um associates <laughs> i have enough of them from high school and college <laughs> matter of fact most people Oh, y'all yeah, trying to take this curly hair out. But uh, matter of fact, most people from high school and college, <laughs> middle school, all that, are associates. Um, you know, or I don't talk to them at all. So, and again, I feel like the people who are for me have stayed, you know, stayed around, stayed in my life. We're still friends, or we still communicate in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And people who weren't, they kind of just dwindled off as time has went on, you know, and as time has progressed. But I don't wish anything bad on anybody. I don't wish, I don't have any ill intentions for anybody. Like, I hope everybody's doing amazing. I hope great things are coming to everybody. I hope they are financially free and doing well and healthy and in a great place because that's all I'm doing. So um, there's that. <laughs> um and yeah and so <sighs> um i don't know i just feel like i had to kind of go into that because um i do know like it's easy for people to get the wrong impression of you or to think they know you or to maybe have had an experience with you and then they're still stuck on who you were in that experience with you and it's just like yeah that's okay with me you know, <laughs> that's where I'm at in my life. That's okay with me. Whatever you think, cool. However you feel, cool. And there's that. So, <laughs> and y'all, my hair, um, as y'all can see, it's still doing good. I just have it in a ponytail right now because um, I don't have too much longer of me keeping this in. What else am I trying? What? Oh, the comforter. Okay. But yes, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do next. That's why I just kind of been keeping them in because I'm just kind of waiting to think of what I'm going to do next. I would love to do knot lists or box braids, you know what I'm saying? But it's like go to who and let do that. I don't really want to pay the Africans $300 for no knot list braids. And then I don't even know because then I feel like I'll get my hopes up again and they'll be like, oh, you know, your hair not long enough, which that would be stupid because I have scalp braids. Like what? um <laughs> and my hair is long enough i just get so sick of that so i don't know i might do box braids just be on the safe side because i just don't want to hear that because my I, I don't really even think my it's my hair length i really think it's my hair texture that is a reason why they don't want to do it because when i went to the girl who braided my hair that's literally what she said she was just like i think it's just the fact they didn't want to tuck in or have to do any extra work tucking in your ends because they are like straight as hell and i'm just like I don't know, because when I blow dry it out, I'm blow drying it to get it bone straight. If y'all want me to just wash it and let it air dry, and then you got some curls in there too, so therefore it's not really straight, I can do that. But they literally be telling you, make sure you come with your hair washed and blow dried. So I'm thinking you want me to stretch this shit out as much as possible. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So at this point, we'll see. I might even end up just doing my own locks, you know, again on myself and just calling it a day until my birthday or something. Then get my knowledge. Ooh, that's kind of sounding like the best idea or the best thing to do. And I also been looking at some quick weaves too, though. So y'all let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think. Like, should I get some braids? Okay, that's option number one. Braids. Number two. Ooh, also half wig. It's number two. Should I do like a little curly half wig, you know? Some real quick and cute, like a little bob length, curly uh, look, cause my hair is long enough to kind of like blend as a leave out. So something like that maybe. Um, oh yeah, or even a sew in. So sew in. So, okay, we got 
What's the first one? Shit. I'm going to start over. <laughs> Nihilus. Okay. Um, quick weave. Okay. Sew in. Half weave. Or box braids. Oh, no. Box, box braids or locks. So, y'all got six options. So y'all need to pick, please, and let me know. I know six options, what y'all think. Obviously, if y'all don't, I'm going to pick. <laughs> but help you grow out, okay, y'all? Please, if you watch this video, just leave a quick little comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think. And, of course, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn your bell notifications on, whether you are true here or new here, okay? Because we need those on so you can keep up with your girl and you can know when my videos are dropping. And every time I post a video, it's going to come right to you, okay? So, go ahead and turn those on, too. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. <laughs> but, yes, y'all. So... Um, your girl worked out today. I mean, I just ate that nasty ass Chinese food. Before I ate that, though, I did eat um, some Copelands from yesterday. That was my first time trying Copelands. So I'll add those clips in here as well. Um, so y'all can see us kind of out of the rest of mine where we ate and stuff. So I add those here in the end. Um, and yes, it was so much fun. Like, the food was really good. I obviously, I didn't eat mine till today, for real. Um, or at least the rest of it till today, for real. So, um, I can tell y'all, like, it was a good it was a good experience. I can definitely give y'all a brief little review and say it was good. Um, from the appetizers, I had the, um, I had, like, Mommy. these hot crab claws. Thank you, baby. Thanks so much. Go get something else to break it to me. Cause I can't really do anything with these. What do this? <laughs> what do I do this? But I had these hot crab claws and it's like little lemon butter sauce. It was so good. With these like garlic butter toast. Woo! Busting. Then I had for my main dish, uh, this blackened catfish with cream of spinach and I think it was just like seafood rice on the bottom under the fish. It was really good for y'all. Like I enjoyed the whole meal. Um, and my drink was busting. I don't even remember what it was. It was like some oh hibiscus margarita. That's what it was. The um, waitress actually recommended it to me because I was just gonna get a regular, and she was like, no, this one is my favorite. So that's the one I got, and it was so bomb. I got two of them, and it had me lit. Okay, so yes. I'm gonna go ahead and add those in here now. <laughs> Y'all be back home. Them two drinks got me a little lit, so you guys about to make the hookah. Um Pretty much just chill, relax. I'm gonna put on this Christmas movie I saw called Almost Christmas the Gabrielle Union. Super excited to watch it. So, if y'all seen it already, put it down below in the comment section what y'all think about it. This vlog is definitely a very short one. Honestly, y'all, as I told y'all, these days I've really been relaxing, trying to get myself back together, but not feeling well, all that great stuff, and just being off on PTO and having my son home with me every day because he's not feeling well too. So, yes um this vlog is very short so yes i hope y'all still loved it of course if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and of course if you're new here go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're true here welcome back welcome back babes and of course if you haven't already turn your bell notifications on so you can always see when your girl is posting and you can keep up with me so yes i must enjoy my night y'all i hope you guys enjoy yours and i'll see you guys next time peace and love Mm -hmm. Don't care about no cuffing, you wanna keep busting Don't let me know when you came I love you in so many ways Don't know why you never complain But you, I can never be shamed mm -hmm. And I usually never say never Oh shit, look at me today Lay your vibe, I don't need no sage Click code and you call it blaze